that's really the core of the argument that Nick Bostrom talks about with the with his simulation argument. And basically, it goes like this: We, you know, we, we've talked about the possibility that we'll get to the point where we can create simulations that are indistinguishable from reality. He refers to that as post-humanism, and right. refers to the simulations as ancestor simulations. So the, he identifies three possibilities. One, we will destroy ourselves before we get there, and that's a, certainly a pessimistic point of view. Um, two, we will not get to that point because we'll consciously decide not to pursue that avenue of inquiry. Right. And I kind of feel like you can throw out that option. When have we ever been faced with a technology that was interesting to pursue <laughs> and not pursued it to the yeah. hilt? So then the uh, the third option is that we do get to that point. But when we get to that point, we will generate millions of these ancestor simulations. And therefore, um, if there are millions of ancestor simulations generated, the odds that we're living in one of those millions of ancestor simulations is far greater than the odds that we happen to be living in the one prior to it mm. and just thinking about it. So <laughs> in his argument, the optimistic point of view is that we're almost certainly living in a simulation. And the pessimistic point of view is that we will destroy ourselves.